But first, we begin with a developing story. Prosecutors are expected to file charges this week against one of two men arrested for throwing rocks off I-90 in Seattle over the weekend. So thanks for joining us for the News at 10. I'm David Rose. I'm Aliana Gomez. While this news comes as welcome news for many drivers, Q13 News reporter Olivia Lavoie discovered that Washington State Patrol believes there's at least one more suspect still out there. It was a drive Stephen Vlasic had done countless times, leaving work at Harbor Island, getting on I-90 to head home. I'm driving 65 miles an hour, and I just see this quick flash in front of my face, and then it was BAM! I hit something. After the shock wore off, Stephen realized it was more that something, a big chunk of concrete, actually hit him. Somebody just dropped something off the overpass onto, my, onto me. Somebody attempted to murder me? That's what I think. It was an act of violence. It was a terrorism act. He says it cost him $4,600 in damage. I came this far away from dying or being seriously hurt. A rock would have went through the windshield. It was lined up perfectly with my chest. The incident happened in January, but he's still dealing with the repercussions of not feeling safe on the road. Uh, you probably heard my voice that it's affected me. I'm angry. And I, they're take, it's, I've lost some of my freedom. Over the next several months, many more incidents similar to Stevens happened here. And this is the spot where Washington State Patrol troopers were staked out early Sunday when they spotted a man on a bicycle throwing rocks over the overpass. But that man got away. And as troopers were searching for him, another trooper dealt with a man throwing a large knife at his patrol car. As the trooper was arresting that man, the rock throwing suspect just happened to ride by. The suspect was quickly taken into custody. Later that evening, another man was arrested for throwing rocks at cars. But troopers believe there's still more out there, as they say they've gotten a suspect description that doesn't match either man they took into custody. They want to induce fear into the population. And that's what they're doing. They're pretty, it's, it's working out for them. This year, there's been 75 documented incidents in the Seattle area. Six people have been injured in recent weeks, including a man knocked unconscious with his face seriously cut last week. And their, their new game is they we're a shooting, they're in a shooting gallery, I-5, or they're moving targets. And they are targeting people randomly. And then they're going to watch the car bounce around and crash and everything else. Hee, hee, ha, ha. Sick and tired of it. Olivia LaVoice, Q13 News. One suspect was booked in the jail and is being held on felony charge, attempted assault. The other suspect was involuntarily committed to Harborview Hospital.